Nole, you're losing too many times. We are not used to that. And uh, how do you explain it? And do you know that losing, you have more chances to go in the semifinals now if tonight uh, Ferrer beats Burdick? Oh, I, I, I wasn't thinking about uh, the other match, and I cannot influence the other match. So, I, as I said before, you know, I try to focus on, on what I do and winning my match. I lost, the, I lost the match that I, you know, that I, I think I was on the way to win. Uh, it was a set. First set I played well, and then opening couple of games and his service games, I had a lot of chances, and and you know he made a break and he got back to the match. I think he started playing better. So, but you know, if I if this is my last match on the Masters Cup, I'll be I'll be happy because I think you know at least comparing to the the match against Ferrer, I I I played a little bit better. You could be the first winner. Oh, sorry, Nicola, just one. You could be just the first winner ever in the Masters Cup, even if you lost two round robins match. Never happened before, but you still have a chance. Good. <laughs> when you think back to uh, the early part of this year, when you were winning all those matches, is there anything that's missing now that was there then? Freshness. Um, I mean, it's, it's obvious to all of us, Novak, that for obvious reasons you're not as fresh as, as you'd like to be. How, how is that kind of showing itself in your day-to-day -day life? Are you sleeping a lot? Are you feeling lethargic when you're maybe just, you know, hanging around with friends or, or relaxing? You know, to be honest, um, you know, I just, uh, I, I'm, it's not like I'm sleeping, you know, 15 hours a day. It's, it's, I'm sleeping uh, normal hours as usual. It's just that... Uh, uh, you know, body says that uh, it's it's overload. You know, it's 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 been too much this year, and uh, obviously mentally, I, I'm I feel a little bit drained as well. You know, I, I just don't have that freshness in my mind for for the matches, and I don't have these dynamics that I had in 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 all ten months of the year. You know, so but but this is this is something to be expected. You know, after a year that I had, and now. Um, if I play here, I play more. You know, tomorrow if I don't, I uh, I look I look forward to go for a much needed rest. No, but uh, after getting hurt in the Davis Cup, have you changed even just a tiny bit your surf motion? Yeah, I did. You know, I did because um, because of the injury, um, the stomach, and then a lot of things happen in between. Um, but. You know, to be quite honest, I, I really don't want to go back and and see, you know, what I could do better or maybe, you know, in order to prepare for this tournament. It's just everything happens for a reason, you know. I, I believe it's like that. I had an unbelievable year. Nothing can really ruin that. And uh, I will always remember this year as the, as the best of my, my life. And, uh, you know, I just want to prepare well for, for 2012. Uh. Novak, it's a very unique situation. So, so how do you go about it? Do you now prepare as you play Roger Federer tomorrow or do you just wait for the late match and then start maybe preparing? Well, I will, I will do, I will do uh, more or less everything that like, I'm playing, you know. If, if, I, if I have a chance, I have a decent chance, so, you know, it can happen. I think uh, David is playing well, so he can, he, it can happen that he wins against Thomas. and. Uh, and then, then I would play against Roger tomorrow, so I will prepare. Novak, uh, yes, yesterday um, Rafa said he's lost a little bit of his passion for tennis because of the fatigue. Um, can you understand how that can happen, and has it ever happened to you? Well, I think you have those days where you don't feel like playing, you don't feel like practicing, and you, you know, it's just uh, there are tournaments where you, especially the ones towards the end of the year, you know, where you don't feel as 100% fresh mentally, physically, emotionally, and uh, and obviously that that's why he felt that way. And I, I understand him, you know, because we, I can say we are more or less a similar situation. Nova, could you tell us what you'll do between now and the Australian Open after this tournament? Well, I, I will have the, the you know, couple of weeks rest and then uh, Preparation, you know the usual things. Nothing, nothing in particular will change. But uh, um, comparing to last year, I, you know, I'm not playing Davis Cup finals, so I would have that extra week, which will 
give me a bit more time to rest and a bit more time to prepare. And um, I'm not playing any official tournament before Australian Open. I'm playing a couple of exhibition matches in Abu Dhabi and maybe some in Australia, and uh, and then getting ready for for the Melbourne. Uh, will you make any changes to your schedule next year, bearing in mind the Olympics coming up and probably that's one of the titles you'd really like to go for next year? Yes, the scheduling will will obviously be a little bit affected by by Olympics. Um, uh, we anyway have a, a very busy schedule during the summer and you know with the Olympics it's going to be really hard to um, you know to kind of prepare well for grass and then Right away next week you have you have a thousand event in in Canada so yeah it's going to be uh, tough for all of us but um, it's the same for everybody um, and uh, you just have to accept it I think we you know this year what I have done well I, I have to say is that you know I've um, skipped a couple of tournaments which were actually quite important to me as Monte Carlo for example after Miami and that came out to be a good decision my scheduling because then I had a little bit more time to prepare for that surface and uh, and then I played as, as well as I played so uh, scheduling is, 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 is really uh, relevant so uh, we will pay a lot of attention to that and Novak if you're going to lose to anyone are you happy that it's to Yanko especially as he gets a nice end of year bonus yeah it's great I mean look you know he, he deserved to win I mean he, he was a better player in the second part of the match and you know, I, it's obviously it's never easy to perform uh, against somebody that you know that well. But um, regardless who is across the net, obviously you want to win, and uh, that's what was the case today. But it wasn't meant to be, and he. I, I'm glad that he got the chance to play and got the chance to to win as well. You know, it can give him a lot of confidence for next year. Novak, in terms of sorry, in terms of confidence, imagine you're ending your season today. Can this be? Can this end of season? be damaging for the start of the next one or are you still full of the confidence you won over the past months? I don't think, you know, I, I think what, what is missing, as I said, you know, uh, just a couple of minutes ago was that freshness and that uh, I just, um, you know, uh, will to will to win, will to, you know, just being on the court and and, 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 and uh, giving 100% and I'm not, man I'm not able to do that now because I just have very little left, so I think uh, I have more than enough time to get my old strength back and, and, and prepare well. So I, I'm sure that uh, if I if I have as well as as good as a preparation that I had uh, last last year, I, uh, I'm confident I can do well in Australia.